Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to episode 11 of our DCS F-18C Hornet Academic Series. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the AIM-9 Sidewinder, which is a short-range dogfight missile that uses infrared guidance. Using infrared guidance, it can be decoyed by flares, though. We think you're going to have a lot of fun with this missile, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in my uh, trusty Hornet, and the first thing I'll do is I'll select the Sidewinder by going down or Z-axis on the Weapon Select switch. Let's go ahead and pause now. So coming down to the left DDI, we see that we have the Sidewinder SMS page, or Stores Management System. We have 578 rounds, we've got a fuel tank on the belly, and Master Arm is set to Arm. Uh, we have Sidewinders on the wingtips, as well as dual rail launchers on the outport station with the uh, left rail on the left wing selected right now. Now coming up to the HUD, we have two different modes that we'll be using to engage. Uh, the first is called boresight mode, which we'll take a look at first, and then we'll take a look at the radar directing mode. Now for the boresight mode, the easiest way to see this is the single reticle here on the HUD, and this indicates where the seeker of the sidewinder is looking right now. And then below that, we have how many sidewinders we have loaded, in this case, six. Now, operation of the Sidewinder is super simple in Boresight. All we're going to be doing is flying the aircraft to place the reticle over target, uh, wait for a tone, and then press the uh, cage uncage button on the throttle to uncage the seeker to self-track the target. And then when we have a good lock tone, uh, we'll go ahead and launch that missile. So let's take a look at this operation. So I'm paused. I'm going to go ahead and fly the reticle over this target. Tone. Uncage, self-track, good lock tone, trigger, fire. Booyah. Okay, now, just like the gun, we can also use the radar uh, to give us direction. By Once we lock up the target, we can then slave the uh, nine seeker to that target. So we'll go castle switch up to select ACM mode or air combat maneuvering, which then defaults to bore sight. And then we can go aft on the switch to vertical, place the target between the two dash lines, lock it up. And now we have it locked. And let's go ahead and pause for a second and take a look at some symbology we have now. So the first is we see, again, we have uh, five missiles on board. We have a closure rate, half a mile range. Uh, we have the TD box, target designation box, which shows us uh, where the target is. Now we have our AIM-9 reticle which is almost over the target right now. And then the small dot here, that's called your steering dot. And what you want to do is you want to fly the aircraft to place the dot inside the much larger circle here called the Allowable Steering Error Circle, or ASC. And that will give you the optimal uh, launch dynamics for that missile. Now, along the ASC circle, we have some additional information. Uh, the diamond here, that's called R arrow, which is the maximum aerodynamic range of the missile, uh, which is uh, not accounting for the target. Now, here at the 6 o'clock position, you can't really see it, but there's actually two different uh, chevrons. The first is R max, which is the maximum engagement range to hit the uh, target we have locked up. And then there's called R and E, or range no escape which if we're having a target heading directly at us and they were to do 180 degrees, it would show us the range at which we could still hit them with our missile. Uh, the next one is our R-min or the minimum range of the missile. And then it's very hard to see, we're actually right about at R-min right now. There's a little uh, a line there which scrolls inside and this indicates the range to the target. Now the arrow here indicates the aspect of where the target is flying to. If it was uh, pointed at the very top, it would be flying directly away from us, at the bottom directly towards us, or say on the left side, it would be going from left to right. Now also, we're going to allow the aircraft to come off a little further. We'll pause. And now when the aircraft that we have targeted is off the uh, HUD field of view, we have an arrow pointing towards that target, as well as the degrees off. And also see that the TD box will flash when it's off. So I'll go ahead and we'll bring the steering dot inside the ASC. We have a valid shoot cue, trigger squeeze, missile away. Splash one. 
So as you can see, whether it's foresight or radar directed, using the AIM-9 is a very simple system. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you next time. Thanks.